by rejecting the $40 million film that made Christopher Nolan famous, Brad Pitt nearly destroyed his career. He had no reason to be aware of who I was. One of Hollywood's most renowned directors, Christopher Nolan, is known for putting together groups that both seasoned performers and newcomers enthusiastically want to be a part of. Nolan is well known for his wide-ranging filmography, which includes the popular Batman trilogy as well as sci-fi epics like Inception, historical dramas like Dunkirk, and suspenseful thrillers like Memento. But few are aware that Hollywood Alister Brad Pitt once came dangerously close to wrecking the director's $40 million project. It wasn't just any movie either. Brad Pitt declined to collaborate with Nolan on a project that would become his breakthrough success and win him and his work the reputation of being genius in the business. Superstar Brad Pitt had the opportunity to play the title part in Christopher Nolan's breakout success, Memento, but he decided against it. Pitt was initially interested in the script, but he ultimately turned it down. Nolan reflected on it, saying, he met with me about it when he didn't have any reason to know who I was or anything about it. The director also disclosed that he wasn't really concerned by the rejection. Guy Pearce, an Australian actor who demonstrated a strong interest in the narrative, was instead cast by Nolan. And this choice unquestionably paid off, bringing the movie both praise from critics and nominations for Academy Awards. With a $9 million budget, the film eventually became a critical and financial triumph, earning over $40 million at the box office. Despite the fact that Pitt never collaborated with Nolan during his career, the director insists that he still values Pitt for making the effort to meet with him and study the script. With the release of his most recent masterpiece, the biopic Oppenheimer, earlier this month, Nolan carries on his practice of working with the best actors and actresses. The cast of the movie is impressive and includes seasoned alisters like Robert Downey Jr. and Matt Damon, as well as up-and-coming actors like Jack Quaid and Florence Pug. Some of Nolan's most beloved co-workers, including Cillian Murphy and Gary Oldman, are also returning. Nolan has demonstrated a talent for casting throughout his career, frequently reuniting with previous actors for new roles. As a result, landing a part in a Nolan movie has grown to be an aspirational goal for actors, making the industry extremely sought after in and of itself. But as Brad Pitt and Memento showed, even renowned filmmakers like Nolan experience rejection. As director of the big-budget Batman Begins movie in the early 2000s seconds, Nolan aimed for a somber and solemn interpretation of the legendary hero. He asked the young and gifted Josh Hartnett, who had just given a strong performance in Black Hawk Down, to help him realize this vision. Hartnett, however, turned down the chance because she was worried about being typecast in superhero roles. He later regretted his choice because working with Nolan may have changed his career, especially after a failure with his 2003 feature Hollywood Homicide. Sadly, Hartnett's rejection damaged his friendship with Nolan and prevented him from getting a part in The Prestige.